Hey everybody, welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie, I'm tuning in from Minnesota, and I want you to think about this question as we have a new month, we're diving into a new season. What if? I wanna give you something to think about today, this morning, this afternoon, whenever you listen to this of what if? As you're tuning in, what if you thought about your goals, you put a little game plan together, it wasn't complicated. What if you gave everything that you could to the goal that you want to achieve for the next 120 days? What if you stayed focused? What if you said, I can do this for 120 days? That's until the end of the year, till January 1st. What if you gave everything that you had of being intentional, being focused, figuring out what you actually want, and what if you stayed focused for 120 days? What do you think would happen? What if? Do you think that you could do that? So as you're tuning in, I want you to be real honest with yourself and I want you to share below, what do you want to see? What do you want to accomplish? What forward motion do you wanna get started? What do you want? What do you want to achieve? And if all we're thinking about is your health and fitness, what do you want in 120 days? And you might be like, 120 days. Numbers can work for you or against you. It can either motivate you to go, it's only 120 days, or you might be going, 120 days? Are you kidding me? I want to see results in two weeks. I want to see something happen right now. 120 days could change a ton. And if you went, all right, it's a new season. Kids are back in school. Uh, we've got sports. It doesn't mean it's not going to be a less busy season. It means that like we're shifting. Uh, we're diving into like if you, depending on where you're tuning in from in Minnesota, I said, we are diving into hibernation mode. Joking, kind of joking. Uh, I do have four dogs. I do have four kids. If you're brand new, Welcome. Uh, I'm a homeschool mom, super excited about life, love to share everything that works for us. Uh, there's a lot of fun things happening. We just got back from Florida and it's a great day. It's a great day because partially I choose for it to be a great day. My mindset is on point. My words I know are powerful. I speak life and not death. And I want to encourage you that you can do the same. So I just want you to think to yourself, what do you want? I would love for you to share below. It's an extra level of accountability. What do you want? And if you can get into your mindset of not that it's uh, 120 days, but like I can do anything for 120 days. I can do anything until the end of the year. I can totally run into the next year already ahead of the game, already ahead of most people. I can do it. You can do it. And I want you to know that there's no overnight success. When you're watching people on social media, guess what? You didn't see the years and the months and the ups and the downs and the falls and the hiccups. You didn't see the chaos. You get to see the end result. But people spend months and years getting to where they wanna go. The only way you fail is if you quit. I'm not saying from now until January 1st, there's not going to be something that happens or something that doesn't go the way that you want it to. But if you're focused and ready to go, I would say write down 120 days and I'm going to accomplish this, focus on this, change these habits. I'm going to go to the gym this amount of time, get specific. Uh, there was a time where I went, listen, for 120 days, it actually was two years ago, I did 120 days of absolutely positively no sugar, nothing, not even a keto treat. And I, and I said, I I'm doing it. And I felt incredible and I felt, in and, I, and I could see results, I could see definition, I could see my body shifting and changing by that one, one focus of absolutely no treats. I just wasn't gonna do it. My treat was ketones because it was a little bit sweet and it was totally fine and I was focused. And so, uh, the 60 hour keto reboot, Julie, I'll talk about that in a second, but I want to give you guys a quick thought real quick. There are four things that, that there's four thieves to productivity, four thieves that can take away, that can steal, that can make you slip up. Not that you won't, but four thieves that will come and try to take away your dreams, your goals, your 120 day focus. So you ready? Number one, 
the inability to say no. You have to go, this is what I want. I'm going to the end of the year. I have to be able to say no. For me, two years ago, when I stuck to 120 days, I said no to all dessert because I was focused. I had a goal, an end game in mind. And so I said no. The word no can be very powerful. It is not a, a rude word. It is not a word of like, no, I'm not going to eat your dessert. It's not meant to hurt anybody else because you have a focus and a goal. So what slips people up is the inability to say no. You have to be able to say no, not in a rude way, not in like a disrespectful way. And yes, I'm very well aware that Thanksgiving and Christmas are right around the corner. And if you can say no now to some things, think of all the things you can say yes to. Think of the habits that will be changed. Think of how you will feel. Think of the, think of like, I did it. I can do this. Whatever your goals are, right? So the inability to say no is a thief. Number two, the fear of chaos. It is not like you will not have chaos. It, is, it doesn't mean that in the next 20, 120 days, there will not be, not be slip ups or things will happen or you'll have one of those days and you'll be like, I can't believe it. I messed up. It's okay. The focus isn't perfection. The focus is you're not going to actually, uh, some of you might, if you actually do this, I honestly went 120 days with absolutely no sugar. But if I slipped up or if I had something, I would have been like, oh shoot. Well, guess what? We don't mess up for perfect. We do the best that we can. We stay focused and I got back up and I would have gotten back up and I would have kept going. I'm actually, two years later, I have not not had sugar. Uh, I'm about to go into a different season of focus on strength gain. So I'm going to be writing my own goals down. But I want you to know, this isn't about perfection. If there's a day, then you had a day or you had a meal or you had a moment and then the focus is the end game. You get back up and you keep going. So you've got the inability to say no that will steal, the fear of chaos that will steal, poor health habits, right? That's what we're working through, can steal. We're going to work on changing those habits. And then environment that doesn't support your goals. So be aware of the people that you're around, your environments. If there's places that you go that you're like, I physically can't say no to that, then you don't go. Or you go in with, you're telling somebody, I need accountability, I've got goals, please don't shove that cake in my mouth. Or please don't tell me that it's just one dessert. Like, I, I really am focused, I need you to help me. Ask somebody to help you, I will help you. Hopefully you've got somebody around, the, around you that can help you, and if you don't, then guess what? You're gonna have to lean into your own discipline and your own focus because you can do it. It's nice to have other people, and not everybody has somebody currently. So that's where coming online, plugging into a support team or an accountability group or a page can help you when your environment isn't set up for success for you right now. You're going to have to learn to say no. You're going to have to learn to be focused. You're going to have to learn to have the discipline. And you can totally do it. 120 days. Can you do 120 days focused on something? Yes, you can. Because you're really not going to see a crazy change in your fat loss or even the way you look in a couple weeks or even a month. You might feel better, but you might get frustrated because the scale doesn't meet the needs or the goals or the number that you want, so you give up. Stop it. The scale is not the defining factor. There are so many ways, my dog is barking, I'm so sorry. There are so many ways to, have, to look at different uh, stepping stones, right? Of if we're just talking about fat loss, how are your clothes fitting? Measure. Like if you're, if you're not focused on your food and you feel like it's not working, you're going to have to track your food or measure the inches lost. Take a picture. Pictures show different ways that you look at that you can't see. Can you walk further? Can you lift more? Do you sleep better? Are you a happier person? All of those things are healthier. It's showing you you're in progress of moving forward. So you have to be okay with that. You didn't get here overnight. You're not going to get there overnight. So I want you to think about what if. What if I did this for 120 days? What if I did blank? What is your blank? What if I went to the gym five days a week for 120 days? What if I said no to sugar and maybe you say, except for Thanksgiving and Christmas, totally fine, right? What if you did it until you get to that day with your family and you enjoy your family? That is fine. What if you said, what if I got up and journaled and I read for 20 minutes every single morning? Could you imagine your mindset you would have in 120 days? What if I shut off the TV and read more? 
What if you did something for 120 days? Would it change your life? 100% it would change your life. It'll change your habits. I have to let that dog in. It's driving me crazy. It'll change your habits. It'll change your systems. It will help you stay focused. It will get you on track. You'll get to this next year and you're not setting New Year's resolutions because you're already ahead of everybody else, right? So that was just the thought that I had this morning. What if, and you can totally do the what if, I would love to know what it is for you. What is your what if? Are you going to do it? So I don't know if it would help to do an accountability video every day for 120 days. I don't know if you just want to message me and I'll help you. It was just on my mind today. So don't be afraid to say no. The power of no. Stay focused. It's going to be a little chaotic. It's totally fine. One day, one meal is not a failure. You get back up and you keep going. Your environment is important. Accountability is important. So that's all I have for you. For those of you who were asking about ketones, which I saw in the chat thread, we are going to be doing a community-wide reboot. It's like a rest and reset your metabolism, diving into the fall season, diving into, hey, summer's gone. Hey, I may have let go a little bit. Like, let's get your body back and going and back on track. So if you need a rest, Re uh, metabolism reset like it's like a cleanse or a fast if you want to join me for the september reboot uh let me know just post reboot below we are also celebrating my company's seven year birthday today so ketones i call it mom fuel i've been drinking it for seven years if you've never tried it and you hear keto diet and then you think ketones your body can make ketones and you can drink them they're absolutely incredible they are a tool Everybody gets up sometime in the morning or throughout your day and they drink something. People are drinking pop and energy drinks and coffee full of sugar. And I drink ketones I have for seven years. They are a tool. I don't nap. I feel incredible as a mom. I'm stronger than I was when I was in my 20s. My brain is on point because ketones are brain fuel. And it is my tool when I get up in the morning to feel great. So if you want a tool to help you stay on track, help with your cravings, give you the energy that you need to stay focused throughout your day, and so much more, I want you to post sale in the comments because we have a fun sale, 27% off to celebrate our seven year anniversary. We're super excited. You can check out my stories. I shared some little pictures. Otherwise, send me a message with your goals. I wanna help you. Whether you need a foods list, if you're just getting started and you don't have like a basic foods list, post food in the comments and I would love to give that to you. You can go to ketomomsecrets.com all one word, ketomomsecrets.com. You can click on recipes. You can click on book club. You can click on how to get started. You can send me a message and I would love to help. I am picking a new book for this month. I don't, we've gone through so many books. I hope to go through, I mean, I've been going through books almost every morning, not every morning. We don't mess up good for perfect. We've been traveling for nine days. We are back and getting on point. So many things to do. I do need to pick out a new book. I just don't know what book to do. So I will still come on in the mornings, hopefully to give you an inspirational message or to give you a thought to think about to help you move forward and not backwards. That is the key. That is the point. Consistent action over time is super important. So if you need a foods list, post food below. If you just need help getting started, let me know. Send me a message. If you want to know more about my mom fuel, ketones, dad fuel, anybody fuel, post sale in the comments and we are going to chat. I hope you have an incredible day always here to help. And I want you to think about this. What if, what if I did this, whatever your, this is for 120 days, where would you be January 1st? First of all, way ahead of everybody else, you would be rolling and running on all cylinders because you feel great. You're not going to restart and you're going to just amplify where you're going faster. 120 days. You can do it. I'm going to do some different things and I'll share that with you. I hope you guys have an incredible day. I will come back on and message any of you that post things below. Any keto questions, I'll come back on later this afternoon and do like more of a specific keto live about food and net carbs and total carbs and all the things people want to know. But I will tell you, hands down, your mindset is more important than your food. And food comes next. Food is important. But if you understand just a couple things and you have an awareness of a couple things and your mindset is on point, you will make the better choices because this is, this is on point. So let me help you. Have an incredible morning or afternoon and we'll talk to you soon. Bye everybody.